not a lot of people realize that when you get a carbon monoxide detector, it doesn't detect a gas leak. Carbon monoxide detectors are detecting basically poorly burning gas appliances. So in the UK, natural gas is basically methane, uh, CH4. So it burns the, with the oxygen that's in the, the air and it normally oxidizes as carbon dioxide, CO2, and water vapor, H2O basically. But if there aren't enough, if there isn't enough oxygen, O2, it's going to burn as CO instead of CO2. And that's your carbon monoxide. So carbon dioxide is, is fine. It's what is in, you know, it's in the background air anyway. But carbon monoxide is, is the killer. But if you want to detect a gas leak before the gas is burning, you need a combustible gas detector. And so they're well worth getting in addition to a carbon monoxide detector. And they're not expensive, for instance. Here's one I bought earlier. So this is um, $16.99 on Amazon. This is an Aricon uh, combustible gas detector. Um, so what this will detect gas at a thousand parts per million and above. So it sounds a lot, doesn't it? But gas isn't really com combustible till it's about 50,000 parts per million or more. There's always some, some background in, in the air. So it's not going to detect at zero, one, two, three. At, at a thousand parts per million, it's going to just give an LCD warning. At two and a half thousand parts per million and above, it's going to give an LCD warning and it's going to tell you there is a gas leak detected. It's actually going to, going to say it rather than just a piercing uh, alarm. It does come with both a mains lead and a nine volt battery. But I wouldn't just use the nine volt battery because it does seem pretty flaky with just the battery in that it's giving false alarms, especially if, it, if you're moving it about. I know you're not really gonna be moving it about. It does come with a, a mounting plate, uh, which I haven't got yet. Uh, and it just, these two holes in the back just slot onto that. You could just have bare screws and slot it onto that. But it's quite flaky if it's left down like that or you move it about. So it needs to be um, upright and it needs to be stationary uh, it, before you're going to start getting any decent readings. The, um, so you get your 9 volt battery and that just slots in the back. When you place the battery in there for the first time or even if you just plug it in, um, it's going to go through its own uh, test countdown. So it's going to be about three minutes before you can use it. Uh, it seems to be, it's flaky at that point, so don't move it about, really. It's going to say, testing. But look, really pushing that. The wrong way around. Welcome to use our voice gas alarm. Testing. Please wait three minutes. So, in three minutes time, uh, I'm going to do a quick and dirty test. I'm going to plug it in by my gas stove and then I'm going to see if it detects a gas leak before I blow myself up. So I'm going to turn on the gas. The gas, the, na the combustible gas detector is plugged into the mains. The power light is telling me it's working. And I'll just turn on my gas. Attention, please. Gas leaking. And... Attention, please. Gas leaking. Successfully detected. 